Hello everybody and welcome to another Gay Let's Play Jade Empire. In our last episode we were running around completing all of the side quests in the necropolis and we ended up uh, catching sight of Zoo, our old buddy Zoo who had disappeared. Um, we saw him sneaking into the the fortress, the um, let's Lotus Assassin Fortress, and we are now about to make our way into the fortress as well. But before we do that, uh, I just want to double check real quick to make sure that we don't have any specific quests that we need to, you know, complete beforehand. I don't think so because these are both the Assassin Fortress. And I also wanted to switch up party members because OnStar was with us all through last session, and I, Sky, I was very pleasantly surprised to find Sky running over to us as we were about to go into the for the fortress to let me know that he um that he's been thinking about me in particular and about you know what we talked about before and. He basically was telling me to be careful and wanted to um, make sure that I came back in one piece. And I feel like, well, now that he said that, I don't want to leave him behind at the. I can't just leave him behind at the flyer. I want to. I want to bring him with me for this particular quest. So, you know, I know Sky's. My blades are yours to command. Yes, I. I want Sky by my side for this one. It. It just. It just seems fitting. Hey, Sky. Ooh, good to see you. Always happy to help. What do you need? Look, I'm like right up into his face. Like, like, <laughs> and he's perfectly comfortable with that, and I'm perfectly comfortable with that. What's on your mind right now, Sky? I was just thinking that we should keep at finding a way to the Imperial Palace. Uh, you think you already said that. It's not that I don't want to talk. Right. I'd be more... What are your thoughts on their situation? You managed to satisfy the Lotus Assassins, and that's a major step forward. You already Just... said that. All right, I'll talk to you later, Sky. Of course. I'll be here if you need anything. And I also wanted to arrange my, um, my gems, because we are no longer fighting spirits, I don't think. So I should get rid of the spirit harvest, and... What do I want? Um... Do I want Imperial Favor? Um, do I want Lucky Hand? Um, Brilliant Gem of Balance, which is nice. I like that Heaven's Blessing Gem. I like the Golden Tongue. I like the Ultimate Monk Gem. Oh, this is going to be hard. Um, now that we don't have OnStar, we don't have Fast Healing. Fast, fast, uh, chi restoring, I mean. So, I think I'm feeling. Um, didn't we have uh, absolute dedication, more experience from human enemies, no power ups from human enemies? Um, I'm gonna try absolute dedication for now, and if I start running out of chi, then I'm going to equip something else. So, yeah. And that's five, right? I filled up. Yeah, that's five. Okay. Well, this is certainly foreboding. You really have to work to get this level of menace into a building. What are you talking about? This doesn't seem particularly foreboding. I mean, it's a tower. The Nature of the Spirit, Volume 5. It is clear to me that what now what matter of creatures these spirits are and it is also clear what their goals are for all that their lies portray them to be the celestial bureaucracy is nothing more than the subjugation of man by the eternal beings of that court the dweller has shown me many things many dark and terrible truths i could not have seen before but which are clear to me now when i return i know what they will say the emperor the one closest to heaven is their tool, their puppet. I know they will send him against me, fearing the power of my knowledge. Oh yes, I know. They will burn my works, but I must make copies, as the dweller said, spreading my dark knowledge far enough that it will never be destroyed. 
Remember this, reader. To a spirit, any spirit, the life of a human is worthless. We are tools, and the toys for their abusement alone. Hmm. Did I not finish the set yet? Is five not enough, or did I miss one? Alright, alright. Well, let's go through the Bakoda door. Here we are. The Lotus Assassin base. Sky, come on. Don't be shy. Come on. Thank you. I guess we're supposed to... Um... I guess we're supposed to use this symbol here, the blessing board. Placing the token from the Lotus Assassin Recruiter in a recessed portion on this blessing board causes a barely audible click. The tomb opens. Let's enter the Lotus Assassin Fortress. The Lotus Assassin Fortress was once meant to be the tomb of Emperor Sun Hai upon his death. You mean Sun Killed? Yes. I think Sun Hai is Sun Killed. Ah! I was told to expect a new recruit, and you fit the description. Well done braving the necropolis. A troublesome walk, but it weeds out the weak. I am the Watcher, and this is the fortress of the Lotus Assassins. It was built amid the graves of a thousand generations, the tomb of the Emperor at its core. Okay. Come. I will show you to the Hall of Induction. If you have servants, they will be allowed to accompany you, but you are responsible for their actions. Fair enough. Formed from the defunct Order of the Lotus, the Lotus Assassins are an extension of the Emperor, as dictated by Death's Hand, and implemented by Grand Inquisitor Gia. Thanks to her direction, we are becoming the face of power in the Empire. The Imperial Army will soon be stationed only at taverns and fish markets. The Great Golem Army constructed here will spread across the Empire. Our masters will be all-powerful. You will assist if you survive. Weak recruits die quickly. Master Gang is one of our trainers. He will be your master as you seek to become an assassin. He is harsh, but his knowledge will be invaluable to you. You will find him at the opposite end of the Hall of Induction, near the entrance to the Central Chambers. Do not keep him waiting. I want to ask you some questions. What would you like to know? Um... Did someone try to enter the fortress just before I did? I saw no one. Only the most skilled of our number can enter this place without my knowing. I am the Watcher. I, all right, I get it, I get it. Tell me about the leaders of the Lotus Assassins. Death's Hand is the one who brings us the will of the Emperor. But Grand Inquisitor Gia rules in his absence. I remember Gia. She was that creepy-looking female. And tell me about Death's Hand. Death's Hand rules us all. We obey him in all things, for he is the will of the Emperor. There is no more to tell. Our lives are his. Tell me about Grand Inquisitor Jia. Grand Inquisitor Jia is the foremost acolyte of Death's Hand. She was one of the first converted from the old Order of the Lotus, and she is fearsome in her power. You would be wise to never even give the appearance of challenging her. She takes offense easily, and even masters have been killed for displeasing her. Oh, that? Well, this will be fun. If she... She takes offense easily. <laughs> this is going to be very fun. Um, and where can I find Grand Inquisitor Gia? She is not found by just anyone. Excel in your tasks, and perhaps you will be blessed with her attention. Fail, and you will be cursed with it. All right, I want to return to my questions. I will answer, but you should not delay your duties. Psh, don't tell me what to do. Um, tell me about this fortress and the Golden Army. This was to be the tomb of the Emperor. It rests in the heart of the Necropolis, the accumulation of thousands of years of the Empire's dead. 
It was the perfect place to begin constructing the utterly loyal golem forces the Emperor demanded through Death's Hand. We could harvest all the spirits we need. And why are you constructing golems? Actually, let me ask this first. Do you harvest bodies from the necrop the bodies from the necropolis? No, you fool. We harvest spirits. Many linger where their bodies interred, although the freshly dead produce a far more responsive golem. Okay. We now exclusively butcher slaves for this purpose. If you are lucky, you will be allowed to help in the process. Beautiful. And why are you constructing golems? They are the perfect soldiers. Unrelenting. Obedient. The ideal that all Lotus assassins aspire to achieve. Slaves that die to be golems are blessed. The Imperial Army is weak, filled with questioning generals that do not know the path to glory. Even we assassins envy the pure subservience of a golem. If you say so. Soon the will of the Emperor will be plain. And Death's hand will step aside so he can enforce his glorious vision openly. Opposition will be impossible. I don't have any more questions for now. Go to your teacher, Acolyte. Do not keep him waiting. The far end of the hall, at the entrance to the central chamber. I'll go to but I'll go to the Serving Master Gong should lead us to the information we need. Is Death's hand or the Emperor behind the Golem army? Ooh, saving game. I will go when I want to go. You might you may be a watcher, but I am a doer. All right, you can watch all you want, but I am a doer. I get things done. All right, jar. Inferior warrior gem. That stuff I can sell. How huge is this place? Oh wow, that's a uh, pretty, uh, pretty well, pretty large place. Pretty large space. Okay, let's get the lay of the land here a little bit. Come on, sky. You and me. You and Kop me. Awuka inid, o afawapi Who is ita this? Turo, turo Another new acolyte? Well, make sure you know your place. Yeah, you just try, sister. Uk nignak i Look, we have fresh wo blood. Another soul for the forge, or a new pet for the masters. We don't need more competition for attention. With the rise of the golems, we acolytes have fewer opportunities to serve. You are unwelcome. Out of my way, or I'll be dead when I'm running the place. Uk nignak i You spout big no words, but wo you are in no position to back them up. Oh, really? Uh, you guys definitely don't know me very well, do you? We are losing status to the Golem Army, and you want to take more attention away from us? I think you need to prove your worth. Well, all right, let's do it right here, right now. You'll get more proof than you can handle. Yes. Should he prove his worth? No. He can defend it or die. Um... If any of you think you can... Huh. If any of you think you can beat me, step up now or stand aside. Ah, you realize the inevitability of this challenge. Good, that will make it easier to justify. You kill this fool. More blood to stain my hands. A badge of honor. Hey, so yeah, thin down the ranks of the Lotus Assassins? Sure. Gives me an excuse to do so without blowing my cover? Yes, please. Alright. Backed you up into a wall. Bah! You are skilled. But assassins are not just quick steps and cuts. We will see if you are strong enough. This isn't over. Go back and cry, Missy. Go back and cr cry in your bed. <gasps> Zoo! Where are you going? What are you doing, Zoo? Where are you going? Hey! So, there is no discouraging you. You have come to the heart of the Assassins, and you already have enemies. Are you certain you are ready for what you will learn here? 
What are you trying to say? I don't think the choice is yours anymore. This is my realm, where my demons hide. You will be forced to see them. We have discussed much in our time together, but not everything. I left some things buried, but now you have descended to their level. But I'm nosy. Do I'm I can't help it. I'm nosy. I like to I like to find out all about you know my friends' is past and stuff. Um I am eager to have your help. Are you? Are you sure you know what kind of person I am? Is anyone so transparent? Are you? I don't I don't know. Go. Your new master is waiting. Secure a place near the heart of the assassins, and you will be near your goal. Grand Inquisitor Xia is key. You still haven't quite explained why you're here. A confusing man, that zoo. I wonder if he even knows what side he's on. He's on our side. Why do I know he's on our side? Because we have Pi. Yes. We have Pi, and the assassins don't. Therefore, Zoo is on our side. Clay Golem. An inactive Clay Golem. Oh, this is ominous. An inactive Clay Golem means that it can become active. Mold Master Soto. Mold Master G. Okay. What is this? Another acolyte feeling their way around in the dark? It takes some time for their eyes and skin to adjust. For the first few weeks, they're as easy to kill as newborn kittens. What do you want, acolyte? We've done our work for the day and don't want to be disturbed. Unless the press is broken, leave us. The press? What is your purpose here? Speak. We keep the Golem Press functioning. Without us, the machines could not keep up the ambitious pace that Grand Inquisitor Gia has set. It takes two minds, two pairs of hands to control the inner structures of the press. You fools just see the controls. Inside the machines, it is impossibly complex. Tell me about the goal, the Golem Press. You would not understand the complex balance of gears and sorcery that makes it function. Even flyers are simpler creations. Who built the press? By the will of the Emperor, Death's Hand had it created. By the power of Grayskull. With parts stolen from some great celestial furnace. That's nonsense. Not everything our craftsmen create is stolen or gifted from somewhere else. We have the capability on our own. All right, let's go back to my other questions. If we must, what do you want? Yes, you must. Um... Well, I already asked these questions. Leave us, Acolyte. What do you want now, Acolyte? Le All right, I can't talk to the other one. Who do we have here? Merchant Kia Jong, Slave, and Slave. And... A ceramic urn, which I'm stealing from, and the Lotus Assassin's is okay. I do what I must. I cannot complain. I serve as I'm directed. I have no other option. Okay, Koopa be the tell Soki Kusta. Who are you? An acolyte? Not even in robes yet. Go sweep up after the golems. You don't have the authority to order anything from me. Um. If I ask to see your goods, show them. I won't ask twice. Or actually, this one. Is it wise to dismiss me? Tomorrow, I could be important. Tomorrow, you could be dead, but I suppose potential customers valuable even here. What could you want anyway? Recruits lose their desire soon enough. My name, if you are still of a mind to care about names, is Merchant Kia Jong. What can I do for you? Your surname is Kia. I knew a Kia Min once. Did you? I have a niece by that name. Is she well? The last I saw of her, she was well. That's right, I helped heal her and stuff, and she was still alive, I, I'm pretty sure, when I... Yeah, she was one of the people that I saw alive, at least, that 
two rivers. Oh, if, oh, yeah. That is going to so hear. Go it's no go years. She yeah. was training at some out of the way school, if I recall. Were you a classmate? What does she look like now? Um, she is of a spectacular girth. I wouldn't outright lie. Um, a fine girl, long flowing hair. Could mm, be like, uh, that doesn't sound like, like her. Uh, Perhaps it was a different min. Is there anything else you dis that you require? What do you have for sale? Me will. So yes, so and that. I don't stock Cassie much for the no individual no assassins. No I mostly bring in large parts of supplies for their machines. Have a look. Dire flame style. Oh, this is the fire style. Fifteen thousand. I've got a lot of styles. I don't know if I really want to spend the fifteen thousand on a sec. I really my my most powerful elemental style is the stone immortal. I don't know if I would necessarily pick up the dire flame style after the fact. Gem of struggle. Inferior ward. Mm, yeah, nothing in here I'm really that interested except for maybe the flame style, but I'll pass for now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to fight these golems at some point. I just have this sinking feeling. Just a hunch, call it. You are falling behind, gang. Grand Inquisitor Zia is not happy, therefore I am not happy. If your work does not improve, I will have to stop taking credit for it. The latest battalion of golems stand idle because of you. If the production of the Jade Golem is delayed again, Perhaps your soul will fuel our next attempt. The Jade Golem. I trust I have made myself clear. Yes, Master Shin. I thought so. Do not let anything delay you further. It would be a shame to once more remind Grand Inquisitor Jia how incompetent you are. Yes, an absolute shame. What do you want? So help me, if you're just some wandering slave, I'll have you butchered to color the clay golems. Wait, no. You are the one I was told to expect. A new recruit. <laughs> As if I don't have enough trouble watching over the other fools in my care. Watch your mouth, boy. Um... You will find me a competent assassin, I assure you. You are no assassin yet, fool despite what you may have achieved outside. Here we strip you down to nothing and rebuild you as we like. Oh, really? If you survive, then you will be an assassin. For now, you are a Lotus Acolyte, and your life expectancy is not long. The only one who's allowed to strip me down is Sky. Follow me down to the central chambers when you are ready to begin your indoctrination. Do not keep me waiting. A battalion of golems stand idle. Wait, indoctrination? No, nobody said anything about... Indoctrination, not anything but indoctrination, no, no. Sky, he's threatening to strip me down. You should, you should, like, you should, you should, like. Always happy to help. What do you need? <laughs> you should be upset, I was gonna say. But instead, oh. he's just grinning because I think he's thinking about me getting stripped down. Um, what does the journal say? Princess Sun Leon, Sun Leon, Silk Fox will take her to the palace where, Mas where Master Lee is secured, but only after she has information to, pr to prove to her father that Death's Hand is a traitor to the Empire. So, follow gang to the chambers below. You will now bear the title of Lotus Acolyte. Gaining access to the inner chambers will be a challenge with such a lowly rank. But the princess will not take you to the palace until you have the information against Death's Hand that she needs. Zhu has given a cryptic warning, but he has not clarified why he left or what he is what he is here to do. Yes, that is interesting. Down into the depths. Down into the depths, Angelus. We shall get to the bottom of this. <laughs> get it, bottom. He Never mind. <laughs> what in the? Well, 
Wow. Damn the heavens for the fools I lead. I am destined to suffer for their incompetence, and I have one man to blame for it. Shin. The old scorpion had one of his followers shatter a spirit shard during training. There are ghosts everywhere. I've lost eight slaves and three acolytes to them. You, new blood, get over there and occupy those ghosts until I can get real Lotus assassins to clean them up. Golem production cannot be delayed by this. A man accustomed to sending others to their deaths. Go on. It's your first sacrifice for your new life. I'm sure it will be glorious. All right. Let's. What exactly am I supposed to do? Um, what's in here? Keeper of the archive. And there's a lot of scroll stands here. Sheesh. Greetings, young Lotus acolyte. I am the keeper of the archive. What can this humble servant of the order do for you? Um. The assassins need a historian? This cannot be your only duty. I fight. I bear the stains of bloodshed with pride, as all assassins are trained to do. But records must be kept, if only to know who to make examples of. You will not find an assassin who is shy about killing Acolyte. None of us are here to learn to be vicious. How long have you kept your archive? Our order has existed for twenty years. I have chronicled our new role and rise to glory. Much is mundane, minor shifts in power, the results of various campaigns. True secrets are held only in the minds of Grand Inquisitor Gia and Death's Hand. Alright. I want to ask about what is in the Archive. I will answer within the limits of what someone of your ranking is permitted to know. Recent or old entries, you must give specifics. Tell me about the Lotus Assassin leadership. All you are allowed to know of your masters is that Death's Hand is the will of the Emperor, and Grand Inquisitor Gia rules this place for him. Obey their wishes when they are made apparent to you, or you will be destroyed. That is all an acolyte needs to understand. You may, however, ask about your Master Gong. He is not important enough to warrant secrecy. Fine, tell me about Master Gong. A thoroughly average assassin relegated to indoctrinating acolytes due to his failure to demonstrate leadership qualities. He is not well liked. Indoctrinating the acolytes, no wonder. His mediocrity is magnified by the successes of Master Shin, an assassin who arrived at the same time and has catapulted through the ranks. Coincidentally, Master Shin is the one who personally documented many of Gong's failures. There is, of course, nothing strange about this. All right, let's go back to my other questions. I will answer within the limits of what someone... Of my ranking, I know, I know. Tell me about the time the Order was formed. You are permitted to know that Death's Hand returned from Dirge as the Emperor's trusted confidant after all others around him proved to be traitors. After defeating the Drought, the Emperor was no longer a slave to the natural order of things. He needed utterly loyal disciples to replace and kill doubters. Of course he did. The Order of the Lotus was quickly transformed from its weak role under Prince Kin. Death's Hand was the new way, and those who disagreed were destroyed. Um... And no one questioned such a brutal change? All who did were killed, except one who first hid his doubt. On a mission to cleanse a traitor's family, he rejected Death's Hand and turned on his fellows. The bodies were unrecognizable. More have died to him over the years, but few remain who know his face. He was our most skilled, most vicious, and most hated. Um... What was this rogue assassin called? His name is not spoken to the Acolytes. You must understand that to oppose Death's Hand is to lose all connection to your masters. Even if you live, you do not exist. Hmm. There are few fates worse than being reduced to nothing. 
Lotus assassins can belong nowhere else. Service to Death's Hand is your life. So this rogue assassin escaped punishment. He escaped death, but there is no greater penalty for a Lotus assassin than to be removed from the sight of Death's Hand and our Emperor. No doubt many of his years have been worse than death. Once you are truly indoctrinated, you will know the hunger to serve that such loyalty brings. Alright. Let's go back to my other questions. I will ask. Tell me about the recent campaigns. Slaves continue to be brought to the fortress from the Wall and unimportant villages that have no voice to object. Our Golem force continues to grow. Operations in Tien's Landing have temporarily halted, but we received glorious news that a hated enemy of the Emperor has been delivered to the palace. Hmm. The accomplices who hid him were butchered, their pitiful village razed. We look forward to a day when all who oppose our masters are dealt with. Um, let's go back to my other... Who, well, who was this enemy? It is unimportant. All that matters is that he was caught. We don't need to know any more than that. It is a glorious validation of all that we do to serve our masters. Any other questions I that I haven't? No, I'm done. Goodbye. Goodbye, Acolyte. Serve our masters well. Alright, let's start reading these. Um, scroll stand. Oh, wait. I thought I could read the sign over here. Maybe not. Book stand. The Grand Inquisitor's will. In your obedience to death's hand, do not neglect to heed the complex demands of our mistress, Gia, second in glory only to the hand of death himself. Our mistress demands that all of her servants think clearly and completely in all that they do. She expects that all Lotus assassins exercise their minds as thoroughly as they suppress the impulse of their hearts. As Grand Inquisitor, Mistress Gia knows all things that happen within the fortress and without. Not even the deepest secrets of the most remote places in the Empire escape her knowledge. Mistress Gia demands that we be cunning, ruthless, and complete in our loyalty to her master and ours, Death's Hand. To disrespect her is to disrespect the Empire, the Emperor, and Death's Hand himself. 